Yuri Ander Young says he's something the Natalie Holloway case has never had, an eyewitness. You were the last person to see yeah. Natalie Holloway alive. Yes. So where have you been? Because it's been 10 years. Actually, De Young isn't new. He's been speaking out for years. In 2008, he even called Natalie's father and said, She's on land, and I know where her body is hidden. And my initial thought was, oh, this is another crazy. He's gone to the police numerous times, even given a sworn statement. What happened? Nothing. Here's his version. On the night Natalie Holloway vanished, De Young says he was doing something illegal at a construction site. He won't say what. But around 2 a.m., he says he sees a young man, who later he identifies as Joran Vandersloot, chasing a young woman into the site. I thought first in a playful way, like, uh, I'm going to get you, and, you know, like... He says the couple disappeared into a small section of construction. After five minutes, uh, he came out with her in his arms. And it was what he saw the man do that told the young the woman was dead. He really slammed her, like, bah. And then, and then you don't start hiding this person in the crawl space. Joran Vandersloot is serving 28 years in prison for the murder of a young woman in Peru. He's never been charged in the Natalie Holloway case. Now, de Young's testimony seems to practically solve the mystery of what happened to Natalie. And nearly 10 years after she disappeared, authorities have finally got around to investigating it. I don't know if he's lying. I can only say that his statement can't be true. That construction site in 2005 is now a 12-story vacation property owned by Marriott. And the prosecutor says Marriott informed him at the time Natalie vanished, there was no construction. Because when there's no construction, Natalie Holloway can't be buried in the uh, crawl space under the foundation. That certainly seems true. But Dave Holloway believes Marriott may be possibly wrong about those construction dates. Holloway led a number of searches for his daughter on Aruba, and he remembers the place. I was there on June 1st, and there was definitely construction in that area. Um, June 1st, 2005. And this Google Earth view from June 2005, a short time after Natalie vanished, appears to show a construction site and the fuzzy shapes of structures. We asked Marriott for clarification, but in a statement, the company made no mention of the building, saying only, as we have done all along, we cooperate fully with authorities whenever they are conducting an official investigation. What he's describing in his story matches what's physically there at the, t at the time. So I'm thinking, man, this, this, could be, this could be something that's something that really needs to look at, to be looked at closely. Holloway wants a search. But authorities say that's not going to happen. It's useless to search there with a cadaver dog or drilling or whatever. One thing will be sure, she's not lying there. She can't be lying there. Because he said that would give false hope to both the family and to the many people who followed this story. And he says she simply is not there. Martin Savage, CNN, Aruba.